Oh, what's up, everybody on YouTube? Uh, anyway, uh, today, uh, later on today, after the haircut, whatever, I uh, went over to Sears, over in the Cary Town Center, and um, I know since last week, maybe a couple weeks, that the store was closing, they had signs over. So I went in there, and it turns out it's the store is very empty. It, it was just depressing to see, because I believe maybe they got bankrupt and they had to close all the stores across America. Or it was, you know, the fall of the damn labor unions, because, well, the, I think it was the, the main headquarters of Sears Robot Company was over in Chicago, Illinois, so somewhere, how they goofed up, whatever, and I think I believe they merged in with Kmart, and Kmart's not doing so well either, so, uh, I mostly have Craftsman tools and power tools in the garage and stuff, so I probably have to look for tools someplace else. Yeah, because I spoke to the man over there, and they said that uh, uh, Liquid Air bought the company, and don't know what they're going to do with it. I don't know what else they're going to do with it. So anyway, I had my eye on this uh, weed trimmer for the last uh, maybe three and a half years. Yeah, it was at a good price. I mean, the cheapest one they had was at $94, and I found this uh, for $54.99, and I uh, ended up getting it for uh, $48.99, so I got a good deal. But it was like the smallest uh, engine displacement they got. You know, it's only 25 cc's. That's why it's a little cheap. Yeah. So anyway, uh, it's going to turn it on and show you how it works. Yeah, you had to do a lot of stuff. There's like instructions on the decal here to tell you how to start it up. Yeah, so it looks like a pain in the ass. So I'm going to place the camera right here and uh, show you how this baby works. I already started up, I already put gas in it. They say gas and oil, just like gas and oil mixture, just like in a lawnmower. So, there was my fills. It's already in the prime, so I probably don't have to do it again. Yeah, so you had to wait 30 minutes before you switch on the lever position 3 and choke. Okay. Now you see what the weed wagon can do. I just had to find a good spot for it for El Garaje. The garage, I mean. 
Yeah. So I just went through. I went through this section very quick because there's weeds growing on top of the, you know, one of these brick posts we put. Yeah, we got to put this other bricks back because I uh, don't need that many. And should have put some over here. Alright. We have some more weeds going out of this brick wall. So I took care of that a while earlier before I started the video. Well, this is all anyway for you guys. Uh, new Princeton weed whacker, weed trimmer, weed eater. I don't know which is which. People call it like that. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be probably until spring when everything's growing out the portion. You know, it's got through. So I'm just going to use this first before I use the lawnmower. Yeah. The lawnmower, we had that for like over 10 years, but I think about looking for a new one. But when I went over to. Uh, Oh, the Sears, yeah, they're selling lawnmowers like crazy. Yeah. Well, on charge, they didn't have any. So I probably had to buy one to use over in Craigslist. But there's one I wanted, though. It's uh, called the Sears Suburban. I don't know how many CCs it is, but you'll probably see it from uh, Pacific Trailer on YouTube. So just look him up, and he'll have videos of Sears Suburban tractors he got. Just the lawn tractor. It was a big one they used to make in the 70s. And so that's probably before Craftsman took over. So that, that's about it, you guys. Later.